A brand new tool on the setup DVD of the Identity Manager version 8, it's the Operations Web. The Operations Web, it's there located as a technical preview. You will easily see that this is a technical preview because even the installation is something which is a little bit funny. The Operations Web, it's the begin to show you a specific different view on the things than before. Because one of the main problems we had in the past was that especially the admins or people from operations was not really supported with our monitoring tools. Think about Job Queue Info. Job Queue Info, for example, show you a very deep and very technical view of things. For example, if you try uh, to figure out why a specific process for a specific person it's not going through and you look into job queue info and there are 250,000 jobs there, it is hard to figure out the correct entry. In difference there, the operations map, you will see that in that technical preview. Uh, this shows you a more object oriented view of things. For example, you search for a specific person and you see everything according to that specific person or identity around, for example, as well, pending processes and something like that. With the help of this, it should be easier for people from operations just to figure out what exactly happens for that particular person, maybe the operations team it's talking to. And there are features implemented like to react on frozen jobs, for example, or to generate passcodes for specific people. But as well, other questions uh, operations team could be interested in are touched, for example, to look into the job performance or watch the current system status are helpful information these people may can use. Nevertheless, the complete functionality, it's very limited in that first technical preview, but you will get an idea where the way could go through Again, it is important to me to make understood that job queue info and operations web are not competitors. Job queue info will be the tool for the technical experts interested in system monitoring and system understandings, but the operations map could be the tool in the future that will give operations teams and business supporters more the chance to get very object-based and identity-based the information to support our identities. Before we can start to look into that operations portal, we have to install it. And to do so, what we have to do is to find it on the setup DVD, which is not super easy. Remember, normally I start my web portal installer and then I can select one of the portals and can just start to install it. Unfortunately, the operations map, it's not in that specific installer located. And because of that, I have to install it manually. Therefore, I have to find the binaries on my setup DVD first. As you can see on the screen on the left upper, there is my setup DVD. And there is a module in that setup DVD that is called the module QER. And in QER, there is a DVD directory and there's an add-on folder in there. And in this add-on folder, you will find the operations support web portal. These are the binaries. The next question, and this is the more interesting question from my perspective is, how the hell I should install that? And this is described in the One Identity Manager installation guide. And to do so, I can just search on the same DVD, for example, for installation, and then I get a PDF or a CHM just display that says One Identity Manager installation PDF, for example. And with a double click, I get that installation guide here on the right side. I can then hit on, on find and next for operations, for example, and automatically jumps to install the operation support web portal. And with a jump to that installation of the operation support web portal, I find all the instructions I need. So now let's install this operations web. Therefore, I need my setup DVD. I need some files there and I need the IS configuration manager all on the screen. In addition to that, uh, I have to understand where I want to install this operations web to. This is not a single web application. It is just an extension of a standard web portal. Therefore, I need my standard web portal. Here you can see the web app, it's identity manager. This is where my standard web portal is installed. Additionally to that, you see here the file structure of my standard web portal. This is an inetpub.wwwroot identity manager. Here are the files. 
And on the left side, you see my setup DVD. I opened uh, the specific folder where the complete operation support web portal lives. Here it is. And additionally to that folder, I opened two other folders from the same setup DVD. I need to copy some of the files. Now let's copy and install that specific portal. Therefore, into this folder where the identity manager standard web portal lives, I have to copy first the operation support web portal. So I just grab that and drop it here into my folder. Operation support web portal is a very long name, especially if I have to type it into an URL. And so I say it's just operation support portal. Here we are. And this one here contains some files will be used later. Second step of the installation is now to copy two files to the binary folder. This is the binary folder of the standard web app. One of them is the QER web runtime web API. I just grab it and drop it into my binary folder, file number one. The second one, it's the QBM composition API web DLL. Both live in different folders. You can see that here underneath of modules. It's all described in the specific installation guide. I drop that as well into the binary folders. Now both are installed. And last but not least, what it's left, I have to tell my web server that he should uh, deal with JSON MIME types. And to do so, I have to select my server. And on the server, there is the so named MIME types. Here they are. And into these MIME types, I have to look at if there is a specific MIME type for JSON. So let's search for extensions. I have to start with a G. Here we are. There's Java. I can see that. But what I cannot see is JSON. So I add a web, add one of these MIME types. Dot JSON, it's the extension, and it is an application slash JSON. So that looks good. Leading dot, it's there. Application, it's correctly written, hopefully. Yes, like the others. Okay, now I do have this MIME type. Here it is. And an IS reset will follow. This is always helpful if I deal with ISs and change the configuration. I'm not quite sure if I need that, but honestly, here now I'm sure all the applications are just closed and the server was uh, loading whatever else configuration changes I made. And with that, I am now prepared. And to test that specific web, I will step to my workstation. Therefore, I enter my workstation. Here we are on the workstation. I directly jump to my specific portal on my machine. I have a quick link list here. I take the standard web portal and what I get here is now my identity manager standard web portal. And as you can see, this is my complete URL that shows me the identity manager. And this URL have now be shortened up a little bit. So this is identity manager. And uh, remember, we install the operations support portal. That is the folder name I was just copying into my web application. And with that, I get another login page. Here we are. You can now see one identity manager operation support web. And now I can sign in. And as you easily can see, there is an error message and this error message let me know that I'm not authorized to use this database. How to solve these things in Identity Manager, we all remember that typically I have to step into my manager and have to figure out if I have enough application roles assigned. If you look into, into the application roles here, then you can easily see there is a new application roles underneath of base roles that is called operations support. I just assign an employee to that specific operation support. I take my super admin, just save the whole thing, step back into my portal and try it again.